hello and welcome back to the Tin Barn. I'm Pragmatic Lee and today I got a very simple little project uh, for you. It's, it's going to be simple, probably the simplest one I've ever done on video, but I think it's going to be a, a very useful addition here to the Tin Barn. Uh, let me get the camera positioned down here to show you what we're going to be working with. This is a six inch rotary table that I've got that goes with my, that I use on my milling machine. Uh, works reasonably well, but the, there's been a lot of projects that I would have used the rotary table on and a lot of little tasks I would have done with the rotary table if it wasn't such a pain to put on and off the mill. The rotary table is not all that much of a pain, but as you realize, got to take the vise off the milling, milling machine table, put this up there, get this mounted down, locate center, which I have to do anyway. But then when I get done with that, it might be a five minute project with the rotary table. But then it's put the uh, mill vise back on the mill table and get it trimmed back in. My mill table is not big enough to hold the vise and the rotary table at the same time. So what I'm gonna to do today is simply take this piece of two inch by two inch uh, square tubing and make a base for this. Use this as a base to mount the rotary table on and then mount this in the vise. Again, this is for those little quick five minute, 10 minute jobs that that rotary table would be ideal for, but it's not really worth taking the time of removing the mill vise and having to put it back on later. So I'm gonna get this piece set up in the mill and we're gonna drill a couple holes in it. The holes we're gonna drill are to match this mounting slot right here. It's got a mounting slot just on this side and on the, the other side, will be for a toe clamp. All right, here's our workpiece, and the two sides that I'm gonna use for the vice clamping sides, I've cleaned those up with the uh, wire wheel, uh, the knotted wheel on the uh, hand grinder. So I'm gonna mount this in the vise now. Be sure it's seated good. I'm going to locate the center. All right, there's center on our Y axis. I'm going to locate this edge over on the X axis. Zero out the X. And of course, move half the width of the probe, which is a hundred thousandths. Zero out again. And our first hole is going to be four hundred thousandths in. And these holes will be three eighths of an inch uh, diameter. And I believe my second hole is eight and a half inches. Yes, eight and a half inches. Now this will be a through hole to tighten the clamp down, the toe clamp down with. Toe clamp will actually go through this. I'm sorry, the bolt for the toe clamp will go through it. For the toe clamp, I'm using just a piece of scrap that I picked up out of my bin, milled, uh, milled out an L in there for a toe. Now I'm going to find the center on the Y axis and come in one inch from this edge.
a little deburring on that hole. That'll be fine. Now we pretty much got the pieces uh, pieces done or cut out. This will of course set right here with the bolt tightening all the way through. But I'm going to surface grind this. Um, why? Because I got a surface grinder. These edges, as I say, the vice edges, I wire brush them real good. Got the old paint, this has been used before, got the paint off. I'll probably clean them up a little bit more with the brush. But the surface at the surface plate, I'm sorry, that the uh, rotary table is going to set on. I want to be sure it's flat. In the end, I'm, I'm reasonably okay on that. But I want to be sure that it's uh, flat on this side and on this side. So we're going to go over to the surface grinder now. This whole piece is 10 inches long. That'll be about the longest stroke I've done on the surface grinder, especially using the, uh, the power feet that I've got on there. Okay, I was kind of joking a little bit and said I was going to surface grind this just because I could. I really do want a flat surface for it to set on in the vise. There's some mill scale in here, and there is some old paint on there. Like I say, this was used before on another project. So I'm going to start out first uh, milling what's going to be the bottom that will set in the vise. Then we'll do the turn it over and do the side that the rotary table will actually set on. Another reason I want to do this over here too with my uh, uh, power feed for the x-axis, I wanted, wanted a project where I was going full stroke and this being 10 inches I'm going to go ahead and go the full stroke length. I've got the wheel dressed and I've got the table uh, stoned off good. So, I've got a good setting good there. I suspect the edges are going to be the highest part. Let's see, I wanted to get the bottom first. First pass, pass, we're just looking for for the high spot. Yeah, the edges are definitely higher than the center. All right, I'm going to continue this process. I'll bring you back when I get a little closer. All right, I think I'm ready now to take a, a final pass on there. I'm going to take three tenths off, just enough to clean it up. All right, I think that's got the bottom side done. Got a good surface on there now, good flat surface. All right, I'm going to turn this over now after I get the table cleaned up, of course. And I'm going to come back up a couple thousandths just to be sure everything clears. Looking for any high spots, which there shouldn't be any. All right, that's where we're turned over. And as I suspected it, when it was turned over, it was just sitting on the edges. So now we probably should, this will probably make a cut on the edges. I'm just going to keep working this until I get through that layer of, uh, looks like there's a primer paint on there and mill scale. 
just till I get it to a good surface again. I finished grinding uh, the top surface of the vise mount and got the rotary table setting on it now. On this end, of course, this is where the rotary table had the uh, the slot in it uh, for the for the bolt. So I've got a bolt in there. Around here on this end, we're using a toe clamp with the bolt all bolt and nut through there and towed into here. So I'm going to set this over on the uh, mill now and give you an idea of what it looks like on there. Okay, I've got the uh, rotary table with the vise mount in the mill vise now. Looks like it's going to work out fine. I've got, uh, still got about eight and three quarter inch clearance between the quill and the rotary table for workpiece thickness, tool thickness, uh, uh, whatever needs to go in between there. So I think this is going to work out fine for the uh, small, quick jobs that don't warrant taking the vise off, putting it back on, retramming, and so forth. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video, and we'll see you on the next one.